Have a meaningful fast and a very merry, joyous Purim. We're talking about happiness and Rabbi Dessler, one of the greatest thinkers of the last hundred years, says ha- Simcha really stands for Shem Macha. When one um, eradicates and lets go of your ego, your narcissism and self-worship, to be a giver rather than a taker, Simcha stands for Shem Macha. Go under the radar, be modest like Esther and Mordechai, and then in return, this will be the ultimate happiness. Because once we realize, break the false god of ego, narcissism, vanity, egotism, self-worship, arrogance, and haughtiness within ourselves, then we could, it's only then that we could serve Hashem and be happy. So the gross is such an amazing thing. Haman, when Mordechai does not bow down to him, he gets very mad, which is another terrible consequence of being self-worship and self-centered and an egotist, full of yourself. And what does he tell his wife and all his advisors and children? Haman was the prime minister of the world. 127 countries were under his power, from Ethiopia to where? India. The Gayan, the Grav Vilna says, we see from here, after Haman says, all of this is worthless to me just because one little silly Jew does not bow down to him. From here, the Grav learns that rather than most popular belief, people think that the wicked can enjoy this world. He says people that don't have humility and modesty, people that are unfortunately egotism and self-worship can't even enjoy this world. And that's the ultimate lesson of the Megillah. That look at Haman. He had everything, but since he didn't have Hashem, he had an ego, he had haughtiness, narcissism. He could not appreciate all his ten children and all the great gifts Hashem gave him.